So Shutzif Faradim Blo Shofa, the entire month of Elul. So let's start with the two. Yeah, I'm going to read it to you right now. I'm going to find it all out. The two is Ashkenazi. He's the son of the Rosh. So the Abba Atulim. He says he opens his laws of Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is Tafkuf Pe Aleph in Shohan Aruch. The two came before Shohan Aruch. And then Maran Shohan Aruch wrote the commentary of the Beit Yosef on the two. And then he wrote his own book, Shohan Aruch. So the two starts his whole Rosh Hashanah section with this halacha. We learn in the Midrash of Pirkei Derbi Eliezer. Derbi Eliezer bin Hulkinus. Berosh Chodesh Elul, Amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu LeMoshe, Alei Elai Ahara, on Rosh Chodesh Elul, Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu, go up the mountain to me. Which time up the mountain was this? This is the, which time going up the mountain was this? Yeah, Not, after he broke the Luchot. After he broke the Luchot, he said, go back up on the mountain and get the second Luchot. She'az ala lekaybel Luchot ahalonot. This is when he went up to receive the second set of Luchot. So Moshe went up on Aleph Elul. Ve'ayvinu shofar v'mahaneh. And I want you to blow a shofar in the mahaneh, in the camp. Why? Moshe ala lehad. You should blow shofar in the camp to announce attention. Attention. Moshe has gone up the mountain. Moshe has gone up the mountain. Why? So no one should wonder where he is. Ah, he disappeared again. Ah, oh, let's go do another golden calf. No. We're letting everyone know this time Moshe Rabbeinu is not with us for the next 40 days. This is what it says in the B. And then he continues and he says, And Hashem is elevated in that shofar blast. God is elevated in the tiru'ah, in the sound of the shofar. Says the Be'eliezer, Our rabbis instituted now, if you listen to the words he just said, our the versions that you find these days, doesn't say this. The version that Rosh is quoting, you won't find it these days in our Rabbi Eliezer. In our Pirkeh Eliezer, it says, which is Rosh Hashanah. The rabbi said he should blow on Rosh Chodesh Tishrei. But the Tud must have had a different text of the Birkei de Beliezer, which said, therefore, we shall blow Rosh Chodesh Elul, the Chodesh Shana Shana, every year, every year. The Chodah Chodesh, and blow Shofar the entire month of Elul, Kedei Le'azhid Yisrael Shia'asut Teshuvah, so that everyone should do Teshuvah. Shine Amad. Just on your comment that our... Uh, our says Tishrei. ...doesn't say and this and that. Yeah. It, important to know, but if we go by Nisoah, it doesn't really matter, because if the tour says that he read it, he got it from yeah. somewhere. Yeah, that's it's okay. Effective. Besides for the fact, Tishrei wouldn't make sense. Why would the rabbis institute Tishrei? That's so, Rosh Hashanah. So, so we know that the tour had a reason, and he got it yeah. somewhere. Yeah. So the tour gave one reason so far. Moshe Rabbeinu went up on the mountain, and they announced all over the camp that Moshe is going up. Amen. And so that's reason number one. And the second reason he gives, he gives is why should we blow the whole month? That's only enough of a reason to blow the Shchodesh Elul. The first reason. Then Moshe Rabbeinu went up on the Shchodesh Elul. They didn't blow every single day in the desert. So, why the whole month? So that everyone should do Teshuvah. Shneemad. Imitaka shofar be'id vi'am lo yichirdu. As it says in Amos, if you blow shofar in the city, you will, people will not tremble. They won't be scared. Shofar wakes you up. So that's the reason now, once we already started doing it on Rosh Chodesh Elul, to imitate Moshe Rabbeinu, we should just blow out the whole month so people stir for, the, for Teshuvah. And another reason he gives, hasatan, to mix up the Satan, which you're going to love. This is <laughs> mix up the Satan. The Satan is looking for us when we blow uh, Shofar, he knows it's Rosh Hashanah, and he wants to be mekatreg and, and uh, 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 accuse us of things on Rosh Hashanah. And so he'll, we'll say, uh, yesterday was Rosh Hashanah, today is Rosh Hashanah, tomorrow is Rosh Hashanah, every day is Rosh Hashanah, because we blow the Shofar every single day. And says, Ad Khan, this is the end of the Nabil Yezid. Three reasons 
The first reason is not really enough, because it's only Rosh Chodesh Elul. So it's really two reasons. <laughs> says the tour. This is the custom in Germany. To blow shofar, let go of the boket, vayerev, to blow shofar every morning and evening, a hara tefila after shahrit de minha. Veyesh mi shimar bin no mar sili hot, but a harim a shosh fela, says the tour. Some people actually say sili hot during Elul. I wonder how it goes. Lerav Kohen Sedek. This is because of what we talked about last week. How some people only say Selichot on the 10 days of repentance and all that. Jacqueline, don't do that. Okay, so this is basically the source for the Shofar in the Tur. Ve'anu, minhagenu, what is our custom? Kehanach tekaimi with Ashkot HaShelu, and minhag Ashkenaz, the custom of Ashkenaz, is... If Rosh Hashanah falls out on Thursday or Friday, as Matchilim, Yom Nishon, they just start Sunday Silihot. They love Sibur Mut'anin, and most people fast. And basically, this is the end of that topic. And the Bet Yosef has a comment on this. And he talks about the Shofar. He says, you know, the first reason is not enough. You need the second reason also. But he doesn't say you should do it in the Bet Yosef. This is the truth. So three reasons. Reason number one, Moshe Rabbeinu went up and there was a blast of shofar. Reason number two, it causes people to stir for teshuvah. And reason three, to mix up a satan. What does what does uh, Marash Shohan Aruch decide to do when he writes his own book, Shohan Aruch? The tool said it's a custom of Ashkenaz to blow shofar every day, and some say silly What What is Maran going to write in his book? Isn't the tour? No, no, the tour is the Baal Atunim, the son of the Rosh. Right? What period are we talking about? Uh, uh, maybe the 1400s, if I'm just shooting off the hip. So the tour is the Baal Atunim, like in the Humash. The Baal Atunim, that's the tour, the son of the Rosh, Ashkenaz. Now there's a new book called Shuhan Aruch, comes after the tour. Mana Shuhan Aruch basically copies the Tud, word for word, as much as possible. And even his Simanim, he copies. Tafkuf Pe'alef Rosh Hashanah, in Shuhan Aruch also, Tafkuf Pe'alef Rosh Hashanah. He copies the format of the Tud, but he edits around the text for a new halakhic perspective, okay? So, I'm going to read you Maran Shuhan Aruch, and I cannot tell you how many guys I've literally opened the book and just read this Siman of Shuhan Aruch. Says Maran Shuhan Aruch, Noagim, first halakha Rosh Hashanah, Noagim lakum be'ashmonet lomar silihot v'tachanonim. Yeah, opposite of the two. The custom is to get up early and say silihot and supplications milosh chodesh elul ve'elach the whole month of elul ad yom kipurim until kipur. That's the whole thing. Not a word about shofar. Not one word about shofar, Moshe. Huh? Okay. Okay. The two put it here. He took it out. Maran <laughs> takes it out. Mm-hmm. Next halakha from Maran. Some people have a minhag to fast. Erev Rosh Hashanah. He's, that's it. He's done with Elul. He skipped. Rosh Hashanah, we're up to already. That's it. Nothing. And we don't say Anna, Erev Rosh Hashanah. We're nothing about Shofar the Homa. Says the Ramah. Right? Moshe Israelis. Says the Ramah. O minhag bene Ashkenaz. The Ashkenazim's custom enokin. is not to say silichot. Rather, they blow shofar after shachris. Now, the tour says you blow shofar after shachris and mincha, or mairiv. I'm using Ashkenaz lingo on purpose. The Ramah says we should blow shofar after shachris. Marash Hanuk doesn't say any of this. Vyesh Mikomot, some people have a custom, Shetokin Gamkin Arbit, that they do too, like the tour says. And they do Silihot one week. So, so far, the is it a question? What is our custom? What's the, what's the big question? There's no basis for Black it. and white. No basis for it in the Sephardim. So it's black and white. What does the Chalmud say? So let's go to the So the Chalmud says as follows. 
he has halachot silichot. And also, by the way, just I'll throw it in here, I want to do this for one of these classes. Hacham Adiyah has a pirush on the silichot. Very nice. And and like, why you have to say like, male um, zakiyut and not zakiyot. Interesting stuff like that. We'll do it another time. And then after his silichot laws, he says, minhag ahenu ha-ashkenazim, it is the custom of our Ashkenaz brothers that go out with shofar, to blow shofar, the whole yom, every day, ha-chel milosh chodesh ilu, ha-zosh ha-shana, b'shaharit u-be-minha, he calls the two of them. It's an Ashkenazic custom to blow shofar. Does he say, and so should we do it? No, nothing. The next halakha is, minhag yafeh lomad, it's a good custom to say, from milosh chodesh ilu, yom ho-shana raba, le-david ha-shem u-livi yishim mimira, that's when you say le-david. Because it says in the Gemara, the David Hashem Ori. When is Ori? Rosh Hashanah. When is Yishei? Yom Kippur. He is spinning in Sukkot. It's Sukkot. But after Sukkot, halas. The whole thing is finished. So you say the David, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah Elul until Rosh Hashanah Rabba. And then he goes on to the Elul, and then uh, laws of uh, Rosh Hashanah. And so on. The... But interestingly, they don't even say that they say to me. They don't ah. have silly quote, what they do later. They say it after Shahalit. Right, so who made that custom up? But it's the same. And I remember from Hello Hebrew Academy that the Ashkenazim, we pray with them, they, they blow the Shabbat after Shahalit, just like it says. Yeah. So then, from somehow, it got transformed to silly, Ed Melech Hoshev every time. We do, so Hacham uh, Radia uh, brings it here, and we'll, we'll go through it real quick. So Hacham Radia says the source for this custom. Did it really is it? Same thing as the tour. So that nobody worships Abu Dazana. And he quotes the same picket of Yazid that the tour does. It's also brought down in the Mahazor Vitri in the Shibuda Leket, Katab, and the Shibuda Leket writes, That's why they blow Shofar the whole Elul. That's why they blow Shofar the whole Elul. To remember the Tekiot in the desert, because they were so happy to receive the second tablets. In the Sefer, Rokeyach Ita, he says 40 days of, of Shofar, because Moshe was in the heaven for 40 days. And he says, Moshe must have instructed the people, blow Shofar every day, and I'm giving an announcement, Announcement, Moshe Rabbeinu is still in Shamayim. Don't worship our Dazara. This is what he feels. This is the little Kayak says this. So that's why we want to imitate the Shofar. Who's the Rokeach? The Rokeach, it's actually in the back here. Um, I forgot his name. You can Google it. I think, I think Italian, but I could be wrong. Google it, just to be sure. Umil, Bimachudzu, says the Rokeach, in our kingdom, we don't do this. When do we blow shofar? Like it says in the Torah, Rosh Hashanah, blow shofar. Find out if he was Italian, Moshe. Yeah. 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 Okay. What does it say? He left us Amsterdam. Amsterdam, Greece. Greece. Amsterdam, but it's a Close enough. No, no, it's not bad actually. Sephardic. Yeah. He says in our it's our countries we don't do this. In the Sefer HaManhig, he writes, which Ashkenazim, which Sephardim would you say are the most influenced by Ashkenazim? Moroccans. Moroccans and French. Uh, if we don't know, Fr are French Ashkenaz or both? Well, French are also very influenced by Ashkenazim. Minhag Sarfat, the custom in France, that go up Shofar, to blow Shofar, the whole Elul, and they go because of the Bekhet of Eliezer. Sarfatim Osim came, Elosh Chodesh Ve'elach, they do it the whole month of Elul. The Ashkenazic. Uh, there is no Sephardic. That's why I asked. Are there Sephardic French? No. Okay. That's recent. The, but the the also the Rashi is Sephardic. Yeah. Okay. So it's the there Ashkenazic. There is no there's Ashkenazim. I mean, it's the yeah. The old community of Sephardic is Ashkenazic. Yeah. That's what's different about the Sephardic. Okay. So that's Ashkenazim. The 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 Abaya the Sefer Abaya he be the rep because he brings the same midrash and he writes. Like it says, if you blow shofar, will no one tremble? 
ספר מנהגים רבי אייזיק טירנה, רבי אייזיק זה יידיש נאם, usually, אייזיק טירנה, כתב מנהג קשה לתקוע מנהג חודש אלול על אלול של it's good to blow the shofar the homan. כדי לערבב בשטן, to mix up the שטן, שלא ידע מתי יכול להיות שהשנה, so he doesn't know when השנה is going to happen. It's hard for me to understand that. I always had a problem with that. ואומנם, הספרדים, ספר חם ועדיה, however, לספרדים לא נהגו לתקוע בשופר במשך כל חודש אלול. That's not the sofar the custom, ספר חם ועדיה, to blow the shofar the whole month of אלול. מכל מקום, however, כמה בתי כנסיות שלנו, in some shuls of the ספרדים, נוהגים לתקוע תשרת תשת תנת בשעת י"ג מידו בסליחות. You find the custom like we find that people have a minhag to blow it during סליחות. Chacham Odiya is talking now. He says it's not our custom, but you will find in a lot of shuls that they do it. And what is the opinion about the shuls? Hold on. Well, בקדיש האחרון, and the final קדיש לפני תענו ועתרו, they blow. He says over here, מנהג יפה הוא. It's a nice custom, says Chacham Odiya. מנהג יפה. He doesn't write on the top that you should do it. This is in the commentary. ובלבש לא תהיה הפרעה לשכנים המטופלים בתינוקות רכים. But don't wake up the neighbors by blowing shofar, because otherwise you're going to lose more than you gain. And that's the end of the halakha here. He doesn't give a source. He doesn't say where it comes from, where it came from. No, but what way? But the first thing is important. It's basically saying that somehow. And those who have this minah can do it. So you're not going to get hinah for blowing shofar. You're following that? Ashkenaz custom. He's not even hinting you that he doesn't want you to do it. He doesn't say on the top, Moshe. The top section is the halakha. The bottom is this, the whole spiel. Right away. Right. But, but, but it so, seems like it seems like. Every war you turn, it's more about the minhag and nice, but there's no really. Moshe, this whole thing is minhag. The whole thing is minhag. The only halacha with shofar is bolos shana. My point is, look, my point is, set aside the shiur. There are people who really, literally, feel alone when they hear the shofar. It does something to them. Okay, so. There are people who will say, I'll I'll come to slichot if I can hear shofar once. Very nice. That's why I said, let's hear the sources and take a vote. Literally, just get the information. No sources. It's all emotion. It's it's very cute. It's emotion, but where he doesn't even know. Hamid doesn't even say how it came about that it was the silichot, because the Ashkenazim don't do silichot unless they started doing it and they're weak. That's a very strange yes, thing. I don't know. I'm wondering if there's any sort of. I'm, I'm going to blame the Moroccans, <laughs> blending everything together. I don't know. Uh, uh, the Kafa Haim Sofer, who was Iraqi does mention something about this. And he says as follows. The Kafah Haim says, Nagu be Ashkenaz, the Koha Koha Hodesh Elu, Boker Ve'ayre Vahat Tefila, the Ashkenazi custom is to blow Shofar morning and evening. Yada Shekatafa Tur, Diyesh Mishim Abin Selichot. Here he says, Umiu, Hanoagim Kedevei Shohar Aruch, those who hold that Shuhan Aruch, which is to say Silihot, but no Shofar, Yesh Nuagin let Koa Gam Kem Besilihot, Be Omnam Yilgam Yom Yudot, Be Gam Kodem Kabbal. Some people have this custom. So again, Yesh Nuagin says the Kafahim, Kedil Kayan Tibri Ako, because they're trying to accept every opinion. You got this, Moshe? The Kafahim? These people want to do everything. They want to do both Maran and they want to do the tour, Murama. So they do it all. So Acham Rodiah says, Minhag Yafeh, it's a nice custom. I mean, he doesn't condone it on the top. He doesn't say to do it. I'm going to read you one more source. This is from Acham David Yosef, who should be the next chief rabbi any day now. When is the election? It says Acham. Well, there's, there's a whole big deal about it. I they think want he, to see a uh, Tiyamun I think he's going to be the next, rabbi next chief rabbi. Going it says Acham uh, David Yosef. All about silly hot, it's the custom to wake up and say it all. And at the end he says, hold on, where is it? Minhag is Faradim, here. I want to find where he says it. The custom is to say silly hot. I saw it, yeah, I saw it the other day. Yeah, 
Radio. One more. Maybe on the bottom. I really want to refine that. What Chum David says. Uh, I know I saw it. He says also it's just an Ashkenaz custom. Chum David writes. Maybe I'll find it real quick. Give me one second. Yeah, uh, where was it? I couldn't find it. Okay, I can't find it. I saw Akam David Yosef, right? It's also Ashkenaz custom. So what's the summary? The summary is the custom to blow shofar is for three reasons. Because of the kid of Eliezer says, number one, Moshe Rabbeinu went up to blow shofar. Moshe went and went up to the, to the mountain and they blew the shofar to announce to everyone. Why are they, to announce to everyone, Moshe Rabbeinu went up to the mountain, don't think he disappeared or died, so don't worship the calf, and they blew the shofar. And the Sefer Rokeach, or as Moshe pronounces, the Rokeach, I think it's over there, uh, he says they must have blown the shofar every day in the desert to remind people he's still up there, don't worship idols. And so for that reason, I don't, it's my personal opinion, why, why would we want to blow shofar to remember that? It makes us not worship idols. I don't know exactly, but that was reason number one. Reason number two is your standard reason, because when, when you blow shofar, it wakes people up, and so you want to get woken up, and so uh, we'll blow the whole month of Elul. And reason number three was, what was reason number three? Uh, to mix up the Satan. But to, uh, to mix up the Satan, so he doesn't know when Rosh Hashanah is. Those are the three reasons. Malach Shohan Aruch doesn't say a word about shofar the whole month of Elul, only Silihot. The Ramah says to blow Shofar. Chav says it's an Ashkenazic custom. And in the end, he says, but if you go around, you look in Sephardic shuls, you'll see some people are blowing Shofar. I mean, it's a nice custom. And so the bottom line is, you don't have to do it. It's not Sephardic. If you want to do it, uh,